We have many interventions that have been shown to promote mental health and prevent and treat mental illness. However, these interventions often do not reach the people who stand to benefit from them. The World Health Organization estimates that between 76 and 85% of people with severe mental illness in low and middle income countries and about 35 to 50% in high income countries receive no treatment for their mental health condition. We urgently need better evidence on how to broadly scale interventions to improve public mental health. The traditional research to implementation process that we use in the field does not consider real world implementation until after multiple research phases have been completed. This linear pipeline approach to research and implementation really impedes production of the actionable evidence needed to help close the mental health implementation gap. Our commission calls for an integrated research implementation model where implementation is embedded across all phases of research in order to better close the gap from research to practice. We make three recommendations for putting such a model into place in the real world. First, we need to form groups in which researchers and implementers work together to co-create mental health interventions and implementation strategies. Second, we need to train the next generation of mental health leaders in this kind of integrated model. For example, by including doctoral students in mental health implementation research efforts. Third, it's critical that we structure funding opportunities to prioritize integrated research and implementation. For example, through two-phase funding mechanisms that first support a preliminary partnership building phase between researchers and implementers prior to execution of a second phase where the mental health implementation research study is conducted. Reimagining mental health implementation research is key to producing timely, actionable evidence to close the mental health implementation gap. The highest burden of mental disorders, along with access to effective promotion, prevention and treatment services, is concentrated within groups marginalized by social and structural determinants of health. Such include people exposed to poverty, human rights violation, humanitarian emergencies, or discrimination. Our commission calls for equity in mental health intervention and implementation research through six recommendations. First, build and sustain equal partnership between researchers and communities experiencing mental health inequities. Second, the designing and testing of equity-informed mental health interventions tailored to the intended population and local context. Third, the use of equity-informed dissemination and implementation strategies that target social and structural barriers. Fourth, prioritizing study strategies emerging from community experience in equities rather than imposing top-down approaches. Fifth, designing intervention and planning implementation with sustainability in mind. Sixth, increasing focus on changing policies and systems to target social and structural determinants of health. In essence, mental health inequities are symptoms of structural and systematic issues. Mental health implementation research needs to focus on strategies to address these issues. Mental health interventions are delivered in multiple complex systems. Communities, health systems, education systems, and many more. Successful implementation strategies need to navigate multiple interacting components, including intervention users, providers, administrators, and technology. Our commission calls for use of a complexity science lens in mental health implementation research. And it does this through four recommendations. First, embrace adaptation. Rather than applying linear top-down one-size-fits-all approaches, 
adapt strategies to local context while maintaining the key elements that make them work. Two, create networks of mental health implementation partners who can continually learn from each other. Three, study bottom-up interventions and implementation strategies emerging from within real-world settings. These may be more scalable than interventions and strategies developed in research-centric settings. Four, use novel research methods, including system science methods like agent-based models. Embracing the multi-component complex systems characteristics of mental health implementation, while challenging, is how progress will be made. In our quest to improve public mental health, we often ask, how do we know which strategies truly make a difference? Randomized controlled trials, or RCTs, have long been the gold standard for evaluating interventions. But RCTs can fail to capture all the nuances of real-world implementation. Our commission calls for expanded use of rigorous non-experimental approaches to address this issue. For example, difference in differences designs can compare the effectiveness of policies and programs in communities over time. Part four of the commission makes four recommendations for expanding use of non-experimental causal inference approaches in mental health implementation research. First, methodologists with expertise in non-experimental research should collaborate with applied researchers, implementers, and most importantly, intervention participants. This transdisciplinary approach can help us navigate the trade-offs between the rigor of the study design on one hand and the relevance of study results to real-world practice on the other. Second, the research community should build capacity for non-experimental approaches via training, online tutorials, case studies, and other advocates. Third, funders and journals should recognize the value of rigorous non-experimental research and support this work via grants and publications. Fourth, governments, health systems, and other actors need to enhance data infrastructure to better collect population-level data on meaningful implementation and mental health outcomes. Expanding use of non-experimental causal inference approaches can help to produce the evidence needed to better scale mental health interventions, ensuring that they work not just in the lab, but in the lives of the people they are meant to help. No single discipline can produce the evidence needed to close the mental health implementation gap. Our commission calls for a transdisciplinary approach that brings together mental health research and implementation partners with wide-ranging expertise. With such an approach in mind, we have four recommendations. First, we need to broaden disciplinary perspectives, for example, with increased engagement of disciplines focused on policy and systems, such as public policy, economics, and political science. Second, organizations involved in funding and conducting mental health implementation research need to prioritize transdisciplinarity, for example, by providing funding for partnership building and by hiring transdisciplinary teams. Third, Enhanced training opportunities are needed, for example, via joint degrees and certificate programs. Fourth, reorient the academic research enterprise towards this goal, for example, by creating promotion and tenure criteria that recognize the value of transdisciplinary work. Our commission aims to start a conversation on transforming mental health implementation research to better produce actionable evidence needed to close the implementation gap. This is an important first step and moving forward, it'll be important to study and refine all of these recommendations based on new knowledge. Thank you for your time and attention.